શક્તિ વધે છે વ્યાસ શક્તિ બુદ્ધિ શક્તિ વધે છે યૌવન વધારે ટકે છે બુઢાપાની ગતિ મંદ થાય છે અલ્ઝેમર પાર્કિન્સન થશે નહીં અને સહજ રીતે સમાધિ મૃત્યુ પ્રબલન આ જીવનના જે ચક્ર છે બહુ બહુ ના એમાંથી મુક્ત થવું હોય તો મારી એ કહ્યું છે કે તમારે ખરા અર્થમાં આ જીવનમાં સ્વતંત્ર થવું જરૂરી છે અને સમાધિ મૃત્યુ તમને માગવું જોઈએ જે આપણને કોઈને મળતું સ્વતંત્રતાનો અર્થ એ કર્યો કે જે કઈ પ્રશ્નો તમારા જીવનમાં આવે છે ખાસ કરીને આરોગ્ય સ્વયં તમને જે ખજાનો આપવામાં આવ્યો છે અનંત શક્તિઓ એને જાગ્રત કરીને બીજાના આશ્રિત રહ્યા સિવાય નિવેડો ન તો જે કાંઈ વ્યાખ્યાનોમાં કથાઓમાં આપણને જે બોધપાઠ આપવામાં આવે છે એ ખરેખર અક્ષરે આપણા જીવનમાં ફળીભૂત થાય ઉતરે તે માટે આ એક સીધો સાધો પ્રયોગ છે નિઃશુલ્ક છે ગુરુની બી જરૂરત નથી તમે તમારા ગુરુ ગુરુ તમારી અંદર જ છે અને આ એક ભય રાખતા નહીં જે આધુનિક વિજ્ઞાને આપ્યો છે અને એના વિચારોમાં બી બદલાવ આવ્યો છે કે સૂર્ય હંમેશા કષ્ટદાયક નથી નુકસાનકારક નથી એના અમુક એવા સમયો છે કે જે સમયે તમે એનો ગ્રહણ કરશો તો એની અંદર ઔષધ્ય નહીં લેકિન હમણાં જ તુલ્ય જૈન ધર્મમાં ઉડતાલીસ મિનિટ આપવામાં આવી છે સવાર અને સાંજ આપણે એને નવકાશી અને ચોવીયર સાથે જોડી દીધી હિન્દુ ધર્મમાં એક કલાક સંધ્યાવંદનમાં આપવામાં આવે છે અને વિજ્ઞાન દેવે એક કલાક સ્વીકારે છે કે સૂર્ય દેવી એક કલાક સૂર્યાસ્ત પહેલાનો એક કલાક જ્યારે આ સૂર્ય લગભગ લાલ વાદળી ઓરેન્જ કલરનો હોય છે એ સમયે તમે જોઈને દર્શન કરશો Hi, I'm Paula Glory and this show is called Farther Down the Rabbit Hole. And the nature of the show is to go into topics far more deeply than we usually see on the mainstream media. Thanks to YouTube, I've been able to get a lot of comments from viewers, and I'm certain that I'm going to get comments on this show. And this show is really an answer to to a prayer of mine. When I came back um from India after being there for 4 years, I uh, really traveling top to bottom from Sri Lanka up to Kashmir reading the entire Quran in a Tibetan refugee camp having practiced at an ashram near Bangalore all through the night saying mantras I would go simply to the East River in the morning and just watch the sun come up and I had actually a few sun mantras but I never I always knew in theory that you were to practice them at sunrise but um uh, I never really was up at sunrise that often. So what I began to find is I started to um really look forward to it as the most important part of my day. It just it just made me feel happy. And so today who I have with me is Hira Ratan Manak or HRM if you want to google him. And he is an absolute expert on sun light, I guess you'd say therapy or energy. Yeah. So thank you for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah. So you started sun sun there what do you call it sun oh, it you is, don't call it worship because No, it's not a worship. It's a scientific practice known as sun gazing. Sun gazing. Uh, it means simple looking at the sun during safe hours. Okay. Now the first thing I noticed when I heard your lecture is your voice is very strong and it comes from a very deep place. and i noticed that 
if I would get up at early sunrise. And I think part of the reason was I was going through the change of life. And I would start to wake up at times I normally wouldn't wake up. And so I thought, well, since I'm up early, uh, let me do something with it. So maybe it was 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe for an hour before the sun came up. I would just do some pranayama. And, and then when the sun came up, I would notice sometimes if I'd intonate the mantras out loud, my voice, when the sun came up, would become stronger. It would come from a deeper place. And as soon as you started lecturing, I recognized that mechanism. Do you feel that you get this energy from the sun? Oh, definitely I get energy from the sun, and all sources of energy that we use are from the sun. Right. Yeah. Well, what, what I was starting to tune into... Hello, everyone. I wanted to talk about food and ascension. I had a really good question um, the other day about... Uh, about certain poisons and, and the foods that we now eat or that are available um, and in the water and, and whatnot, like fluoride and just different different uh, poisons that may uh, affect us. Um, so my comment on that is, uh, and I, I've used your discernment. This is always, um, you know, what, what agrees with you. Um, what I'm saying may not apply to you. So always you're going to have to navigate your own course but these are just uh, my findings, and this is this is what works for me. Um, the judgment of food, I think, is most important. The judgment of uh, anything is is where we're going wrong. Um, so my suggestion would be, if you're vibrating uh, very low, which means if you're very fearful, if you're if you're worried a lot, um, if you have a lot of hate, or if you're greedy, or you want to control. Um, basically like what you'd call negative uh, emotions or negative thoughts. If you have lots of that, you should eat very, very clean foods, organic foods, um, very pure water, uh, you name it, you know. You want to get lots of rest. And actually I would recommend, to I'll add this in with everything, the one thing I will recommend is just sleep when you want to sleep. So if you want to sleep 15 hours a day and you have that option, then do it. You know, a lot of people won't do that. Um, but that's the one thing I will recommend for everyone is just sleep as much as your body wants to sleep. And that's not, um, that's, that's good for all, I believe. So anyway, if you, so if you're, if you have lots of, um, negative, so-called negative thoughts, you should eat very, very, um, good, you know, very healthy. Um, now the higher you start to vibrate, I think the more leniency food becomes, it becomes almost, I would say at some point a non-issue. Um, right now I eat, uh, chocolate chip cookies from Dunkin' Donuts. I've eaten peanut, peanut M&Ms for bagfuls for, you know, a few weeks back, but that's done. I usually go in phases is what junk food I'm eating. And I'm not fat, uh, just, it, and I don't do a whole lot of exercise. I walk around, I meditate. I used to do a lot of kundalini yoga. I don't do that anymore. Um, but, you know, so again, and, 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 I'm, and what I'm saying is that the, the tool, tool um, food right now is a tool for me. If I feel sometimes if you vibrate um, too high and you're not you're not comfortable vibrating um, very high, um, you might need some foods to ground you sometimes just to just to remain comfortable here on Earth. Um, so so you know you have to navigate yourself. I would say don't judge foods. Um, sometimes I think people start vibrating. This is basically what happened to me: is uh, I was eating pretty much all fruits and vegetables. <laughs>